Hey everyone, it's Tyler Strick from Universal Rackets and this is going to be an amazing video because we are going to go over one tip that will completely change your game at the kitchen. Once again, if you stay tuned for this whole video, we are going to be going over one simple tip and simple concept that will completely transform your game. Now, what is that tip? The tip is, is the tip of your paddle, no pun intended, dictates where your ball is going to go. If you need to get the ball up over the net by pointing the tip of your paddle a certain way, it's going to ensure the ball goes up over the net. If you need to smash the ball down into the court by pointing the tip of your paddle up, it's going to ensure that the ball is going to go into the court. A lot of players, they struggle up at the kitchen because their paddle is not in the proper position. So again, if you can learn this one tip of how to point the tip of your paddle, it's gonna completely change it. So let's get started. So what is the tip of your paddle? I want you to think that the tip of your paddle is the center of the end of your paddle. I want you to think right now that there is a laser shining out the end of my paddle. Once again, when I go to hit, there's a laser shining out the end of the paddle. So if anyone ever hits you a dink, this is what you're going to do. And this is going to ensure that you get the ball over the net and you're consistent every single time. What you're going to do is that when you have a ball that's lower than the net or a dink, you are going to point your paddle tip down. Once again, we're going to understand that there's wind today. Whenever you have a ball that's a dink to you, you're going to point your paddle tip down and then you are going to go. By pointing your paddle tip down anytime you get a dink, that's going to ensure that your paddle face is automatically open. Once again, by pointing your paddle tip down, notice what it's going to do with my paddle face. It's going to open it so I can swing up. So when you go out into the kitchen, you go out and drill, you go out and play, if you struggle with getting your dinks in the court, paddle tip down, open the paddle face. Paddle tip down, open the paddle face. Now that's how we get the ball out of the net. Some players, they struggle with their dinks and they end up popping their dinks up too high and their opponent's going to smash the ball down at them. And that's because their paddle tip's not down, their paddle tip goes up. And what I mean by that is many players, they pop the ball up too high because watch, popping the ball up too high, right? I'm popping the ball up too high. I'm going to turn around right now. Look where the tip of my paddle is facing. It's facing forward. By facing the tip of my paddle forward, it's allowing me to pop the ball up. I wanna make sure again, throughout my whole dink, I keep the paddle tip down and ensure the paddle face stays open. I don't pull up at the last minute. So if you ever struggle with popping your dinks up at your opponent, I want you to check again, where is the tip of your paddle facing during and after contact? Keep it down throughout the whole shot. Now, the next thing I want you to understand is that less is more. Now, since our paddle's in the proper position, all we're doing is keeping the paddle tip facing down. All I have to do is go forward. Once again, when you hit this dink from now on, I want you to think that it is a push. Once again, when you hit this dink, I want you to think that it's a push. I don't want you to think that it is a huge swing. So again, keep the paddle tip down and push. Same exact thing for that backhand side. When I go out to hit this backhand dink, I'm going to do the exact same thing, two hand or one hand, keep the paddle tip down and then do a push. It is from here to here. Now, since our paddle's in the proper position, it's not a big swing. Now, we're going to be talking about higher balls. We're going to be talking about balls around net height. The better you get in pickleball, the lower the of aggressive shot that you can hit. So beginners, they have an aggressive shot up here, defensive shot down here. The higher I get into pickleball, the lower I can hit a more aggressive shot. The lower that the ball is to the net, the more I want to point my paddle tip down. I want you to think whenever you need to get the ball above the net, you need to point the paddle tip down. That's going to help get under the ball. Anytime above the net, you need to point the paddle tip up so you can go down. So if I wanna get a ball that's around net height and take it out of the air, I want you to watch where the tip of my paddle is now. Let's go. One more. Did you see that? Prior to contact, I'm still pointing my paddle tip down, not fully down vertical, but here. So that's going to allow me to get under the ball prior to contact 
brush up to the ball and get it in. By pointing the tip of my paddle down in the air, that's going to allow me to get under and up on the ball. I want you to think, 12 o'clock's here, six o'clock's down here, I want you to point it around four and a half, five o'clock. So again, if a ball ever comes net height and you need to get over the net, you're going to release, point your paddle tip down and get under it and go up. Paddle tip down and then up. To ensure that you're doing the proper swing, after you point the paddle tip down, watch where I'm going to finish, I'm going to finish with it pointing up. So I'm thinking about five o'clock to one o'clock, five o'clock to one o'clock, same thing for the backhand side. But it's going to be, let's say seven o'clock to 11 o'clock, seven o'clock to 11 o'clock. Now, if you wanna take that to the next level, instead of just using your paddle, you're going to get into your legs and drop your paddle. That's where the players can be extremely aggressive because they're not only dropping their paddle, but they're getting into their legs, which is lowering their strike zone so they are able to come up. Now, if you ever have a super high ball, a ball that is above your head, watch what I want you to do. This is where players go wrong. Have you ever had a super high ball and you go to hit it and you smash it and it just goes into the net? Again, it's around here, it's a sitting duck and you go like this right into the net. The reason why probably is because your paddle is vertical. The tip of your paddle is pointing up. Anytime that you have a high ball that is no higher than your arm fully extended and the tip of your paddle, again, that is no higher than when I point my arm up it is not higher than the tip of my paddle. Instead of holding it vertical, I'm going to hold it diagonal. My paddle tip for a right-handed player for the forehand, 12 o'clock here, three o'clock here, is going to be around one and a half o'clock. Left-handed player, it's going to be about 10 and a half o'clock, okay? It's going to be here. The reason why it's here instead of here is because now I can still get under it and bring it into the court versus if it's vertical and pointing up, it's going to go down into the court. So again, any ball that's not higher than the tip of your paddle, you're going to hold it diagonal, point the paddle tip diagonal, and then go on top of the ball, and that's going to bring it in. Notice what I'm doing at all times. I'm here finishing forward. I'm here finishing forward. I'm here finishing forward. I'm not finishing up for the dinks, right? But the main thing is, is I'm never turning my hand. A lot of players go wrong, they struggle at the kitchen, they can't hit shots, they feel inconsistent because they're always moving their wrist. They're moving the paddle not the right way. If we think about the paddle tip, that eliminates that. What I mean is again, dinks, players pop up, paddle tips facing forward. Volleys, they're here, paddle tips facing downward. Or they're here and they're going to decide, where's my paddle tip? By thinking about the tip of the paddle, that, that's going to ensure it. Now again, when the ball is higher than the tip of my paddle fully extended, instead of holding it here, diagonal, I'm going to hold it fully extended and vertical. This is the time that you want the tip of your paddle vertical prior to contact. Now, in order to get that ball in, what are you gonna do after you're done? you're going to point it downward. Again, if the ball is super high and you're holding your paddle tip vertical, then you're going to point it downward. So I want you to think the higher the ball, the higher you want your paddle tip. The lower the ball, the lower you want your paddle tip. The more defensive of a ball that you hit, the lower the tip of the paddle is going to be. The more offensive, aggressive ball that you need to hit, the higher the tip of the paddle is going to be. The more you need to hit down on the ball, the higher the paddle tip's gonna be. The lower that you need to hit up on the ball, the lower the paddle tip's going to be. The paddle tip determines where the paddle face is going to be. So players, you can think about, stop thinking about having to be in the proper position, having to have all these amazing techniques, having to do this, having to do that. No, all I'm gonna do is either here, here, here if I wanna get under it, here or here. Keep it simple so you can get your shots into the court. It's all about the paddle face and where is your paddle at all times. We are going to go over block volleys and show you exactly where you want the tip of the paddle to be. So the first thing with the block volley, and we had a whole video on this, is you always wanna make sure that you take it as a backhand. Too many players, where they go wrong is they get a ball in here and they take it as a forehand. When I hit my backhand block volley, I want the paddle tip to be facing to the side. Notice throughout my contact, the paddle tip is still facing the side. 
By keeping the paddle tip to the side, what's that going to ensure? That's going to ensure that my paddle face is facing forward. I mentioned the laser before in this video pointing out the side. Now I'm talking about the laser pointing out the middle of the paddle. I always wanna make sure that I keep my laser facing forward at all times, the center of the paddle laser at all times. A lot of players, they go wrong. They can't hit a block volley. They do it really bad because they're moving the rest. Notice, where's my paddle face is moving to the side. When I hit a block volley, I want you to think that someone's hitting hard at you. You have little time to react. That's why they call it a block volley, because you have to block it back. So to block it back, keep your paddle tip facing this way so it can ensure that your paddle face is here at all times, and all you're doing is just reflecting and bouncing the ball right back to your opponent. You are absorbing the pace. You're redirecting the pace. So again, when you go hit a block volley, be here. Now, the more aggressive that you wanna hit your volleys, and we kinda of went over this before, is then you're going to start throwing your paddle forward. But the less time that you have, if anyone's ever going big at me, I'm literally going to be like this. There is no movement whatsoever. So keeping the paddle tip to the side as well, that's going to focus on not having any type of movement in your paddle. Now, this was a real quick video all on where you should position the tip of your paddle. If you can position the tip of your paddle in the correct place at different times, it's going to make pickleball so much easier when you go out and play. Nine times out of 10 players, they're not in the proper position. It has nothing to do with technique. It's just where their paddle face is either open or closed, and that's the reason why they struggle at the kitchen. I hope this video helps. I hope this makes such a big difference in this game. In your game, don't share this with your opponents. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Have a good one. Use these tips. Subscribe. Check out our giveaway. The Pickle Yogi, my wife, and myself, we're both giving away a brand new Selkirk Invicta Vanguard Control Pickleball Paddle. Make sure to check it out. Have a good one. Happy hitting, and we'll see you guys next time on court.